Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. I hope you have your sunscreen on tonight, Tyler. Oh yeah, it's a hot one, Lauren. Temperatures in the 70s to about 80. Things are quiet here for now, but the match gets underway at 7, and we're thinking Virtue Field will be slammed at that point. So you're probably wondering what I'm wearing. This is part of the kit. Don't worry, I didn't know what that meant either before this season. Had to Google it. The kit is basically what the team wears. It varies as we go through the year, I think. But we've got people who know more about this. This is the merch area as you walk into Virtue Field. And we have got here Captain Rudolph. You're on NBC5. That is his name, Captain Rudolph. Yeah, that's it's great to have you here. So tell everyone how you got into this, because we were chatting earlier, you're from L.A., you yeah. go to Middlebury, and you're very into soccer, you're on the club soccer team, but what brought you here to intern for the Vermont Green FC? Yeah, thanks for asking. Basically, I have a buddy that was actually writing for a newspaper up in Burlington last summer, writing about the team, and he was told me about the internship opportunity that's here, and so I applied, got the job, and here I am working the merch tent at the games and then helping with the mission to be a sustainable, environmentally friendly team. So for someone who knows a little more about baseball like me, yeah. I, what, what does the kit involve? Obviously, this is part of it, but, but does it change through the season or is it for the season and then maybe next year it's different? How does that work? Right, so our kits have been changing. If you look back there, we have um, our practice jerseys, which have the Ben and Jerry's logo on there, one of our great sponsors, and then all the jerseys that say Sun Common, our top sponsor, those are our kits that are worn by the team in away and home games. So right now, you're wearing the away kit. Um, so whenever we play not here in Burlington, Vermont, the team will be wearing that. Uh, otherwise, some of the other kits are like the alternative with the pine or even the goalkeeper jerseys in the top left that have the longer sleeves so that when they dive, they don't scrape their so elbows. So how do you decide which one, which one you wear on any given night? Yeah, so basically I... I bought this one because I thought it looked really cool with the collar, but it basically is decided based on the colors the other team needs to wear so that uh, okay. when you're playing, you're not getting confused with what's going on. And so the full kit includes the socks and the shorts, and that's actually the most important because when you're playing soccer, you're looking at the feet, looking at the ball. So you want to make sure that the socks are a very different color so that wow. you're not confused when you're passing it to your teammates. I learned something new today. <laughs> All right, uh, Captain Rudolph, thanks for coming by. Good yeah. luck tonight. The weather's going to hold up, so you're not going to have to worry about rain. Yeah, no, we'll show you. A great day. We'll show you where we are on Storm Tracker. That is the Weather Lab. It's actually here right as you walk into Virtue Field. So as you come in, you'll see that. But we don't have any rain or clouds to worry about here right now or for the rest of the night. We'll zoom out and show you that the whole region basically has the same beautiful sunshine on this first official day of summer. It is hot here. I know a lot of the thermometers say basically between 70 and 80, but on the pavement it feels a lot warmer than that. Thankfully, things don't get underway here till 7, so by then the sun will be lower in the sky. It'll feel more comfortable. Storm Tracker has the whole mess that is to the south. We'll show you how it moves in on future casts. So we've got no worries tonight or even first thing tomorrow morning with lots of sun. But tomorrow afternoon, the clouds come in from the south. So if you're basically in Rutland or Lebanon Point South, it gets cloudy as tomorrow goes on. There can't even be a shower, but the more widespread shower chance holds off until Friday. So yes, we do have a mostly cloudy sky Friday with a lot of showers. Look at the dew point trend, though. This tells us how sticky it'll be starting Friday evening all the way through the weekend into early next week. Very, very humid. Dew points close to 70. So tonight is comfortable. 50s for most of us. Tomorrow we've got low to mid 80s in the Champlain Valley. Cooler south with the clouds that move in. Here's the five-day forecast showing a couple of showers around on Friday. Thunder potential over the weekend. It is possible that on Saturday some of us don't see the sun again would be tough to have that two Saturdays in a row, but Saturday is trending a little bit rougher right now, and there will be thunder in there. Sunday is still some thunderstorms around the high 80, and a thunder potential, some showers in there Monday through Thursday of next week. Temperatures do take a little bit of a dip down into the 70s, so we're still thinking no washouts in there, but if we had to pick one day that looks wetter than the others, it's probably Saturday at this point, and as we move forward, we will refine that weekend forecast. So we're live here in Burlington Virtue Field season two of the Vermont Green Football Club, otherwise known as soccer. Going to be a big crowd here tonight, a couple thousand people. Let's find out some more. We've got Noah Searson standing by now. Noah.